Today we're drag racing turbo six cylinder super sedans. Well, I'm very excited because we've got two very high performance sedans together to drag race today. The first one, of course, is the venerable BMW M3. This one in competition, guys. This has a three liter six cylinder turbocharged engine up front, 375 kilowatts, plenty of pep under the bonnet. But over there is another super sedan with a V6 turbocharged engine in the bonnet, and it also makes 375 kilowatts. That's a V6, 2.9 litres, but both cars seem to have very similar levels of performance. The advantage the BMW has though is in torque. It gets 650 newton metres and the Alpha has a paltry 600. It's going to be very interesting. But before I can go anywhere, I have to put this BMW into the most protracted and drawn out launch control procedure I have ever found. If you've got time, I'll talk you through it. DSC off, park brake off, gear selector into manual, press it twice, select second gear, not first, then reach for the gear speed selector, want to put that into the third speed, left foot brake, onto the throttle, and we're finally ready. Andy's in the Alpha, let's see how he's getting on. Andy, uh, sorry to keep waiting for 35 hours it takes me to get into launch control, how are you getting on with yours? Um, it's reasonably straightforward insofar as I don't have any. <laughs> so what, you just left it on the brake and go nuts? Yes, yeah, so I'll show you how a proud Italian man loses. <laughs> Hopefully not. Honestly, I mean, we've done some very close races lately and uh, this one is going to be more of the same. How are you feeling about it? I think I'm going to get spanked, actually. Um, both these cars are on very, very focused tyres, but I think your one will get off the line better and it's, it's just colder and greyer here than dead Auntie Vera, isn't it? I mean, you've got one very clear way of winning, and that's just, just get going before I've had time to go through the 35,000 steps of getting it ready to go. So you, there's an easy way to win here. Do I have a spiritual victory on the board already, then? <laughs> uh, who's got the weight advantage? I think that's probably you, isn't it? Possibly, yeah. This car, I think, weighs, I think I'm right in saying about 140 kilos more than the Alpha, but I do have a little bit more torque. So once again, pretty even playing field, hopefully. I am better acquainted with the Colonel's 499 menu than you, um, so who knows? <laughs> All right, let's see how we go. Oh, that's a lot, whoa, that's a lot of wheels been off the line. I'm nowhere. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just drifting. <laughs> oh my God. I'm very, oh, this is an absolute nightmare. There is no traction at all. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the BMW has gone into a little blue speck on the horizon, but uh, yeah, the Alpha really didn't want to know there. Um, I need to warm these tyres up a little bit. That was just beyond terrible. That is easily one of the most frightening starts to drag race I've ever had. I'm not sure how good the start was. What I am sure of is that I'm happy to be alive. Well, that was race mode and that didn't do a lot for me. Um, just dissolved the rear tyres into wheel spin as soon as you sniff at the gas. Um, so I'm gonna switch it into dynamic. I still don't think I'm gonna get anywhere near that M3. Diabolical conditions at Heathcote today. It's been cold all day. We've had rain on and off. The track had dried out a little bit previously, but you'll notice a few spots of rain on the window. So traction is gonna be a problem on both sets of tires on these cars. The uh, wedge-tailed eagles circle when they know a death is imminent. Okay, everybody ready? Not, hang on. <laughs> hang on, just two minutes, I'll give you a call when I'm. Just give me 45 minutes to set up the launch control. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of wheel 
that's been off the oh my god this thing's trying to swap ends with every gear change this is desperately frightening we're getting somewhere but we are still not with the bmw bmw is oh my god i want to button off before the finish gone that was hair raising gone 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 it's trying to light the tires with every gear change there is zero grip out there I had to upshift early there manually just to try and get it to grip up again. I was t honestly too scared to look where Andy was. He's behind me now, but I don't know what happened. I have no idea what just happened there, mate. Any, any ideas from you? <laughs> well, it went off the line about as well as it would do in these conditions. I had to short shift it into third because it was uh, about to light them up but uh, still nowhere near the M3. Yeah, well, that was life in the hands of stuff. Like, that was uh, pretty chilling. Every gear trying to, trying to break traction and doing a bloody good job of it. As is traditional for the second run after the drama of the launch control race, we're gonna do a much more normal, all driver assistance on. This simulates the spontaneous blast away from a set of traffic lights. Uh, driver assistance all on thankfully this time so probably a little less drama who knows could be quicker this is straight start in three two one go oh and he had a great stop whoa this thing even with traction control on it's trying to spin the wheels oh my god Oh, but I'm away. He had a great start. There's nothing he can do. Oh, jeez, this thing is twitchy, even with everything on. It's an absolute animal. Woo. Mate, that was a gallant effort. I know how much traction or lack of you have with that car. You did an amazing job getting off the line. <laughs> it was a bit of a battle, but uh, I kept you kind of vaguely within arm's length, yeah. In far less than perfect conditions, the best the BMW could manage was a 4.8 second run to 100 kilometers an hour, far behind BMW's claimed figure of 3.9 seconds. But when it miraculously found traction, the Pilot Sport Cup 2 rubber spat the M3 to nearly 200 kilometers an hour by the 400 meter mark. With P0 Corsa rubber, the Alpha suffered even bigger traction problems and managed a best zero to 100 time of 5.5 seconds, compared with a claimed 4.4. It took more than 13 seconds to reach the 400 meter mark. Doesn't matter how much power you've got, how much sticky rubber you have on the track, when you throw these two awesome super sedans down 400 meters, in conditions like this, it's always gonna be a battle. On this occasion, the M3 took it, but only just. 